So the first step we want to do is remove the air valve cap. Screw your shock pump to it and then slowly bleed off your air. Bleeding the air slowly allows the shock not to collapse under the high pressure of the negative air spring. And from here we can unscrew. Note the clocking of your air can. And use a pick to gently remove the circlet. Using a strap wrench, you want to slowly push down and twist on the can. That should free it up. And from here, you do not have to pull the can all the way. You want, there's two sets of O-rings, so you want to pull it over the second set gently. Your volume spacer is going to go in right here. And just put it right up against the O-ring and put the shock back in the vise. While supporting the, uh, the air seal head, you want to work over the first O-ring and then keeping your hands clear, it should click into the second O-ring. Next thing you do is return your shock to clocking. Reseat your circlet, screw your shock pump back on, reinflate, and return the air cap on, and reinstall on the bike.